I now expect within hours that the Israeli army is going to march into southern Lebanon in the first instance, and we will see yet a further escalation. I, th I think, yes, it was very carefully planned. The Israelis knew what they were doing. And the point is that Netanyahu and indeed his, his government, even though it's very divided, they are united behind the idea of getting Iran's revolutionary army and destroying it. And, you know, if Hezbollah won't hand over their weapons and they won't, well, the Israeli Defence Force is going to go in there and take the weapons off them. And I think many people in the West um, will understand that. I don't think the Israeli Defence Force will go into southern Lebanon like a hot knife through butter. The Hezbollah fighters are fighters and the origins of Hezbollah in, in, in amongst displaced Palestinians mean that these people will fight to the death and kill as many Israelis as they possibly can. So I don't think it will be a simple affair and of course they will never surrender. They will never ever surrender. Uh, but the overwhelming might, you know, the, the, the weaponry you see the, the bombs. I think it was eight bombs they used to get hold of Nasrallah, who was underground in a bunker underneath that. So they used bunker-busting bombs, and eight of them. Uh, it, 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 it certainly has meant Hezbollah has no leadership. They can't communicate with each other, for starters, because they don't know how to communicate. So... It, it, you, you can't win. Hezbollah cannot win against the Israeli Defence Force. They will launch some kind of attack against Israel. If they launch some kind of an attack against Israel, Israel will obliterate Iran because it's still in a position, a position to do so with impunity. And what that means is either that the world community, particularly Putin and Putin's Russia, will accept that the Middle East is now effectively under Israeli control. And you can like it, you can loathe it, but the Israelis are not going to be dislodged. We're talking about many, many, many people who belong to the Islamic world who are not going to see the Islamic Republic of Iran humiliated. They're not going to see Shia Muslims, Hezbollah, uh, Hamas, Houthis be destroyed, and that that will trigger a much wider conflagration. That is what I am afraid of today. Looks easy for Israel, tactical win, you know, well done Netanyahu, audacious. But in the longer term, no security that way, and the possibility of a world war. Even if Israel controls the whole of the Middle East, not going to get rid of uh, Islamist terrorism. It's not going to get rid of the Shia Muslims. And the stronger Israel is in the short term, the more hostile the anti-Israeli forces will be in the medium and longer term. Uh, and that's no, no, Israel would be, you know, living on its knees and it could be standing on its feet if it agreed to a Palestinian state and made peace. But Netanyahu is not interested. I think we're going to see a lot of fireworks in the next few hours, perhaps certainly in the days to come.